Valentine's Day is coming up. So, me being a twin soul love reader, we have to do some videos, right? So, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Aries. I'm going to start from the beginning, go all the way to the end. Alright, so we're just going to dive right in. Hope you all are doing well. I missed you all so very much. Hmm, what deck are we going to start with? I think we're going to start with the Romance Angels. I'm just going to go ahead and lay some cards out. Once I get them all laid out, then I'm going to interpret them because that way I'll have a picture of what's actually going on, okay? So. And it's easier for me to do it that way because that way I'll have a, a big, um, huge storyline to make sure that the energy I'm feeling is validated with, what is this? With what I'm feeling, okay? Aries, what do we got for Aries? Aries, for Frederick, please. Aries for February. Aries for February. Whoa. Yeah, that one flew out. I'm going to just go ahead and get one of each card until we do the tarot. Aries for February, please. For those of you that don't like the shuffling, you can go ahead and just forward or whatever. <laughs> Lots of shuffling right now. Aries for February, please. Whoa. Aries for February. Aries for February. Aries. A little that was sick. Two of my kids were sick, so it was. Ooh. Aries. Aries for February. So it's definitely been a rough. And then you guys know we had COVID in the beginning of December. I was no, I was like, it was the second week in December. For those in the twin flame. journey. What do we got for Aries for February? You guys know I'm a twin soul reader and I'm going to just, I'm not going to do any more like singles reads. I'm just going to focus on those that are, oh, I just saw Tyler's Tarot uploaded Leo's read. Ooh, I'm excited. You guys know I'm a Leo, so that makes me excited. <clears throat> I'm not going to do any more singles reads. I'm just going to go ahead and focus on those that are on the twin soul journey. And we're going to do it like that, okay? And I want to keep these videos sort of short and sweet. So I'm going to try to keep them under 10 to 15 minutes. So, so far we got some pretty good cards for you, Aries. Um, there's definitely a lot of fire. I see a lot of fire. Um, you and your twin soul's connection. A lot of social gatherings a lot of passion and I feel like for um, a portion of you some of you might not even know or be completely aware of who your twin soul is so there might be a little bit of confusion around that so it feels like all right can we get whoa two cards came out there Six of Cups, Ten of Cups. We're going to get two more cards from the tarot, one from the room, and then we're going to go ahead and interpret these. So I think it's funny how whenever I do readings for love, like, you can definitely tell that I'm a love reader because the cards that come out are always have to do with love. They'll be, you know, cups all the time. Ooh, okay. Oh, there's the last one. Whoa, Aries, your energy is phenomenal. This stuff is just flying out. 
All right, so then we're going to grab one card from the Rumi deck to finish off your reading. And, so, and I'm going to go ahead and interpret all of these for you. So for some of you too, self-care is going to be really important. Um, there is a card here about self-care, and I felt that even before I even looked at the card. I feel like some of you are in the famous Aries style, um, sort of running yourself ragged, trying to get things done. And like I said, it's, it's definitely a fire sign trait. But Spirit is saying they want you to really slow down and focus on the things that are important to you right now, which for you has to be self-love. I just would need one of these to close out the reading spirit. I'll tell you what though, this connection with your person is very, very strong because there is a two of cups here. We had divine discontent for your roomy card. It's number 12, so that's going to mean something to somebody. It came out in reverse, so I feel like with... For some of you who might be feeling discontented, that's going to change. I feel like you're really going to be embracing the positive side of life and learning how to see things from the sunny side of the street. And so I feel like that's why it came out in reverse. Because it says divine discontent. So to me, if it comes out in reverse, that's showing me that the discontent that you've been feeling is actually going to be reversed into happiness. Does that make sense? Okay, so the first card we pulled, Aries, is keep an open mind. Your soulmate might differ from your usual type and expectations. So right away, Spirit is saying, your soulmate, your soulmate, I say soulmate, I'm a twin soul reader, so we're just going to go ahead and switch this soulmate label to twin soul. So your twin soul might not be exactly what you expect them to be. And this is, a lot of people hear this, they freak out because they think it's like a negative connotation. Now, this isn't saying that spirit is going to give you someone that you're not attracted to. This is definitely not what this means. Keep an open mind means that, so you might have a certain type, Aries. You might like, you know, only go for people who are athletic or only go for people who are, um, spontaneous whatever it is whatever the case is and I'm sorry guys I had my light on and it it died so I hope that the lighting is okay it just needs to be charged so you might have a certain type and spirit is going to give you someone that might be an opposite of that type because they want to broaden your horizons and open your mind and so that is why I feel like your twin soul is going to be someone that you don't expect it to be okay and for those of you that have no idea who your twin soul is, this is going to be for a small portion of you, you will meet your twin soul at a party because the next card that came out right after that is party. Okay? So that's going to be for some of you. For some of you that already know who your twin soul is, the feelings are going to be, in the month of February, they're going to be amplified because we have romantic feelings here. And I think that the reason that Spirit is showing me that they're going to be amplified is because you are starting to focus on yourself and you're starting to follow your passions and you're starting to focus on what it is that makes you happy. And by doing that and focusing on your self-love and on yourself, you're sort of switching the focus from your twin soul onto you and growing your self-love and growing your passions and your whatever it is, whether it's your business, whether it's, you know, um, I don't know, whatever it is, working out, reading, journaling, anything, um, vlogging, um, you know, riding bicycles, <laughs> mountain climbing, whatever. Hold on. And so shifting the focus onto yourself becomes like a magnetic beacon to your twin soul and they in turn will focus on themselves all right um the two cards that we got here from the bodhi tarot say follow your passions and will lead your heart to a surplus of love and abundance in all areas of your life so switching the focus to yourself is drawing in all of these wonderful things 
to you, whether that be love, passion, luck, your person, okay? So, that, and that's just what I was saying and feeling in the energy before I read the card. It says, self-love is important at this time. Put yourself first, take care of yourself, and be gentle with yourself. So that was another thing that I was telling you before, too, that I felt like you needed to slow down a bit. Fire signs um, tend to, and I know because I'm a fire sign, we tend to get really wrapped up in things and wanting to accomplish and accomplish and accomplish that we sometimes miss the forest through the trees. We're too busy focused on the trees that we don't see the forest around us. So just a rem gentle reminder from spirit to slow down and flow. All right, we have six of cups and ten of cups. So there is um, going to be some happiness and some stability coming in. We have four of wands and ten of cups and six of cups. So there's an energy of a letting go of things that are no longer bringing you joy. And that may look a little scary sometimes you may have to let go of jobs people friends things that you really thought were meant for you will start to fall away and again this is for you not um not it's it's happening for you not to you so i'll say that again just so you can understand it it's happening for you not to you it's happening so that you can grow and so you can make room for these new things that are coming in to play into your twin soul connection. And this connection is very, very deep because the Four of Wands came out. These two cards came out together, Four of Wands and Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is about, it. it, it is literally my twin soul connection card. It is two people. I like to say two people who are completely matched for each other. They're two peas in a pod. Their energies are exactly the same and they have the exact same goals and the exact same heart and the exact same passion and the exact same fire. And it might not seem like your goals are the same, but when you sort of break them down, you will discover that you have the same sort of moral fiber and the same sort of ideals. Um, they might be in a different way, but you know, at the core of it, you guys will sort of want the same things when it comes to like building a family um, pursuing the way you pursue your goals and things like that. And the Four of Wands is the card of stability. So this is the card of, we have two cards of sort of stability and building a future together. Ten of Cups, which is the family legacy. Four of Wands, which is marriage, um, stability, settling down, engagements, um, things like that. Um, the Six of Cups can also represent someone from your past so for those of you that have an idea of who your twin soul might be this could be someone from your past someone that you connected with and then you sort of veered in different paths and then right now you're going to reconnect and it could be at a party because we do have the party card remember right here um so that that six of cups energy is showing like it could be someone from your past and you'll know who they are because you'll just feel it. There'll be an undeniable pull to them in your soul and in your heart. So that's going to be for a small portion of you. Um, but focusing on yourself right now is going to be the thing that draws them in to you. For some of you that are in union or not, I'm, I'm not sorry, like not completely in union, but are talking to your twin soul, I feel like this February... And maybe like beginning of February, end of February will be a time where you guys sort of take that to the next level. For some of you, it'll be engagement and marriage um, because the stability in the Ten of Cups came out. That is the card of planning together, like future wise. So I'm going to go ahead and read the Divine Discontent number 12 from the Rumi Oracle, just a small portion of it. And we're going to end with that my beautiful Aries. And I hope that this gave you some sort of insight. For those of you that would like to book a reading with me, all of my, all of the things that I offer are always in my description box below my videos. And um, in honor of Valentine's Day coming up, you know that I love love. 
Um, I will be putting all of my readings on sale. I don't know yet what the prices are going to be, but I'll mull it over while I do the other readings and what is this? And we will we'll go from there. So divine discontent. It says winter falls upon us, so spring can bring new growth. Oh, this is perfect, right? Cry the tears, allow the longing. Sadness brings surrender and a deep desire to be free. I know your heart. I hear it breaking and groaning in darkest night when you imagine yourself to be silently cast adrift in sleep. One second, Aries. It speaks to me, that sacred heart of yours, whispering its longing and bemoaning its divine discontent. It knows when something is amiss. It senses that something is not quite right as yet. There is a piece of the puzzle missing. So see, it has been said that twin souls or twin flames can feel each other and they can feel when something is wrong with the other half of their soul because literally you guys share a same soul connection. You guys' hearts are attached or souls are attached at um, the soul level and you share the same energetic frequency so you will feel when this other person's energy is there's something off with them even in its tremendous gratitude for all that is and there is much gratitude and sweet appreciation in that precious heart of yours there is a murmuring a questing it cries out to heaven vouchsafe me a blessing i cannot go on i am broken and in need of your tenderness for healing I am empty and in need of filling, not with stuff and bits, but with the most precious nectar of divine fulfillment. Nothing else will satisfy me. Please, please, restore me to wholeness. I can bear this missing piece, this broken disarray no longer. I listen and I cajole that wise heart of yours. I praise it for its honesty and longing, for the longing is an irresistible perfume to the beloved, attracting the only salve that will soothe the divine discontent, there it is, of your truth-speaking heart, that of divine presence, absolute and unquestionable. So it is being stated that your beloved is doing some very 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 strong longing for you at this moment and maybe that longing is what is going to bring them forward into your energy field and they will probably take the steps necessary to bring you into their arms that is such a beautiful reading i hope you enjoyed that aries sorry if you hear toilets flushing and hands washing someone is using the bathroom right next to me in this um one of my children obviously so I hope you enjoyed this reading and click in the description box below if you want to book a reading with me. And like I said, all the readings will be on sale. I love you, Aries.